hope helping others persevere and excel. The details are fuzzy. Jason Zillow, Director, Communications and Media Relations, New York Yankees. But basically, I think, I think I came up with Hope Week, but we needed the acronym. So I had everybody in the office submit five or ten different acronyms for Hope. And Dolores Hernandez, our administrative assistant, wonderful, wonderful lady, she came up with it. Animated Hope Week logo. In thinking about the kind of um, scope and effect we could have in the community, we wanted to really just to make a difference. Michael Morgolis, Assistant Director, Baseball Information and Public Communications, New York Yankees. And we threw around a bunch of ideas and it ended up becoming Hope Week. Um, really just taking a week of our time and, and, hence, and also a week of our players' time uh, to really shine a light on really the best our community has to offer. Artie Elephant, DMF member and outreach coordinator. Ken, myself, and Danny were sitting around having a little brainstorming on what we could do for outreach. And being a longtime Yankee fan, I said to Ken, why don't we try and get a hold of the New York Yankees for Hope Week? Jason Latimer, Assistant Director, Media and Player Relations, New York Yankees. We feel we have to find that, that great story and that really that unique effort by an individual that ha has really embodied what Hope Week is. And I mean, the difficult thing with the Yankees is that, you know, we are consumed with worthwhile people and families and organizations who need help. You know, the, the problem is, is that there's just not enough time in a day to help all of those people. It's, it's hard to, to, to describe the decision-making process and to what, how you make the cut. And it's not even, cut is not, is it, is not even the right word for it. Um, you know, when we saw you, we just knew it. DMF members and Yankee players performing on Broadway. Daniels Music Foundation, meet the New York Yankees, members of the New York Yankees. Nick Swisher, Russell Martin, Chris Dickerson, Francisco Cervelli. Jason had a fantastic vision about what we could do as a group to make the community a better place. He never stops being challenged himself, and he never stops challenging us. He's always looking to take that day to the next level. Well, what if we uh, do a concert? If you know they could perform anywhere in the world, where would be the best place to perform in the world? Broadway. That's what we're doing, Broadway. Daniel Trush. This has been totally unbelievable to me. I, I can't believe it that the Yankees would take the time out of their busy schedules to come here to our little music foundation. Ken Trush. It feels surreal. It feels like a dream. I mean, there are memorable moments in your life that you never forget. It rates there already. The expression on our members and what it's doing for our members and best day by far at Daniels Music Foundation and is in way up there in personal life as well. We want you guys to sing the national anthem to start the game. Yeah! DMF members on the field at Yankee Stadium. When Daniels Music Foundation sang the national anthem, and I've, I've heard the national anthem here sang for every game from 1996 until 2011, and uh, there was never a better national anthem. There really was. It's just, and, and the ovation, the fans, you know, really took to heart what was happening out there.
it was a most memorable day that all the members will never forget. The thing that most impressed me about uh, Jason Zillow and his team is the Yankees are such a large organization, and yet they took so much time to take care of every little detail. You could really sense that they did this because they truly wanted to make a difference in people's lives. We could probably bring most fans out here, put them on the field, and they would be elated and ecstatic. But just to take that extra little step and make a personalized day for each person and the players, is in the smiles on the faces, that measures success for us right there. There's no manual to do this. It's, here's a blank canvas, and let's just create some joy and we all take part in it, and it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful feeling. It really is. Once you're part of Hope Week, you're part of the Yankees family. Case closed. Uh, you're a friend of ours for life. A kid from Brooklyn who was always a Yankee fan his whole life, to be part of the Yankee family is really a tremendous feeling. Thank you to the Yankees for coming down. Positively the best team around. The whole organization. Yankee players present a giant check. Donation for all of us at DMF. It's a real validation. It will help us to welcome more members to teach. All performers and players on stage for finale. To reach Daniel and Michael Trush with Derek Jeter. Jason Zillow, Michael Margolis, and Kenny Leandri. The Yankees really cover. Nick Swisher on stage with DMF Yankees Children. Faces. Thank you to the Yankees for coming down. Positively the best team around. The whole organization is so great. Shooting for number 20. Throws their hats. Our heartfelt thanks to the entire Yankee organization for giving us the day of our dreams. Most sincerely, the DMF family.